The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the Deep Roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. That we both had less grey in our hair then, and we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my daughter? I see she's become a lovely young woman. Pleased to see you again, my dear. My son Thomas asked after you. Perhaps I should bring him with me next time. <laughs> As you get older, those years make less difference. 
a lesson often hard won. I doubt she'll be receptive, Hal. My fierce girl has her own mind these days. Make her bless her heart. <laughs> no doubt because you've trained her as a warrior. How unique. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. They are the heroes of legend, who ended the Blights and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your daughter is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is my daughter we're talking about. You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I've no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus, and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lass and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Shouldn't you be off to your brother, as I ask? I'll talk to you soon. Just let me finish my meeting with Duncan. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Yes, I saw the Isle arrive. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. You know these Mabari hounds. He'll listen to his mistress, but anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. That would be wise, before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari Warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. What? That monster is in my larder, slobbering all over the bacon, and you're insulting me? Oh, dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Nan, please. We'll get the dog. Calm down. 
Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way! Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Oh, encourage the hound, why don't you? No wonder he keeps giving Nan fits. It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. <coughs> Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lady. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Hello, my dear girl. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans? The very family in whose castle you live? Show some respect. I see you haven't changed. Perhaps it would benefit you to join our lesson? mean we have to listen to you now? Silence! I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. Perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself all the time. Don't let myself all this one to you. And my dear Bryce bought this pack from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my lovely daughter. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? Ah, marvellous. Just the thing for my guests to hear right before dinner. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon.
You're too kind, dear girl. Didn't I spend half the salon trying to convince you to marry my son? And made a very poor case for it, I might add. You remember my son, Dyron. He's not married yet, either. Don't listen to her. It's good to see you again, milady. You're looking as beautiful as ever. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do say something, dear. It is a great pleasure, my lady. You are as pretty as your mother describes. And she says that after seeing you whacking stuffed men in the courtyard, sweating like a mule. Your daughter's prowess with the blade is most impressive. I was quite the battle maiden myself in my day. But I think it was the softer arts that helped me land a husband. I would like that, milady. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your ladyship. a war, Papa. Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little sister to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Stay. I'd like to say farewell. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. In Antiva, a woman fighting in battle would be... unthinkable. Is that so? I always heard Antivan women were quite dangerous. With kindness and poison only, my husband. This from the woman who serves me my tea. <laughs> really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Orin. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? Oh, if I were a Grey Warden, little sister, I'd have my eye on you. Not that father would ever allow it. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, make us breath. It's like living with a pair of small boys. Thankfully, I have a daughter. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her, sister, won't you? I agree. Especially if you get yourself hurt. I will never forgive you. Now that is a good incentive, wouldn't you say? <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow.
My lady, help me! The castle is under attack! <laughs> Fighting outside, and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? They never got through the door, thanks to you. The scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go. We can salvage some things here, darling. Some of your father's belongings are in that trunk. You would like something? We must go downstairs and find out what's happening. Everywhere. Don't be foolish. You would throw your life away? The front gates. That's where your father must be. If Howe's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servants entering the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Then let's find out for ourselves. But if Howe's trap has snapped shut, Escaping may not be easy. The castle has fallen! I'm getting out of here! Y yes, my lady! Here! Here they come! Let us dispatch them! Here they are! <laughs> Thank you. 
We have much to do. We must not exhaust our supplies. It is begun. It is begun. Very well. Very well. Where is everyone else? I shall do it. Very well. As you see. Very well. I shall do it. It shall be done. It is begun. As you see. I shall do it. Very well. It shall be done. Go, man the gate. Keep those bastards out as long as you can. Your ladyship, my lady, you're both alive. I was certain Hal's men had gotten through. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hal's men out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. When I last saw the town, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. Where is the turn? Does he live? You both are. I was. Bryce. Wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding. Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. I. I won't survive the standing, I think. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone... must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. Howe's men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. 
Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My daughter helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, I beg you. Take my wife and daughter to safety. I will, your lordship. But I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything. What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. You fought your way to me through Hal's men. I think the Maker's intention is clear. I will take the Tirna and your daughter to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then your daughter joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. We will inform the King, and he will punish Hal. I am sorry, but a Grey Warden's duties take precedence even over vengeance. Hal thinks he'll use the Chaos to advance himself. Make him wrong, Bob. See that justice is done. Our family always does our duty first. The Darkspawn must be defeated. You must go, for your own sake and for Ferelden's. Then I have no choice. I hereby invoke the right of conscription and recruit you into the Grey Wardens despite your objection. I'm sorry, Pop, but it's better this way. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you sure? Our daughter will not die of Hal's treachery. She will live and make her mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. My place is with your father. At his side to death and beyond. I'm just so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, Pop. Warn your brother. You know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go now. Goodbye, darling. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I... I can scarcely believe it. 
how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Hout to justice. You have my word. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. Of that, I have no doubt. You will see him again once the battle is over, I am certain. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the Tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feelings. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. <coughs> the Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to. You must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. We stand here in this Greetings, young lady. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne. One of the mages summoned by the king. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. 
Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Yes, occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. That is no failure, my friend. Should it find you will not fail your So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could... Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No. Oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me know what you'd like. No. Ah, oh, well. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. <laughs> that depends on what kind of life you've led. Me, I'm perfectly willing to accept that this joining is some kind of punishment. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Chasing barbarians, yes. Cannibals, and witches too. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. I'm told the blight started in the forest, so the army's here waiting for them to come out, dangling meat in front of the bear, if you catch my meaning. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. Oh, I'll watch your back. <laughs> I'll try to keep my wits about me. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed...
Your prophet Andraste now beg your forgiveness. Do not abandon us in our dark tower. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I suppose I do, but it wouldn't be prudent to discuss the King's business with you. As you wish. of action is inadvisable. Welcome, young woman. Goodbye. Welcome, young woman. I am one of the tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly we would not get by on charity. It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and Lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Goodbye. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered Mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Less being yelled at for me, then. Though the day is still young. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit, from High Ever. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Did Duncan mention me? Nothing bad, I hope. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. I know. I felt the same way when I did this. Unfortunately, they don't give us much choice. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. Yes, sir. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. With the mage, 
The Circle is here at the King's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Not that that's all Templars do, but yes, the Chantry raised me until Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect your missiles. <laughs> This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Ward can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight.
Over here. Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Um, I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is... reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. following you, aren't I?
Fiends ahead! It is begun. I shall do it. It shall be done. As you say, it shall be done. I shall do it. It is begun. Very well. As you say, following you, aren't I? Here. Flower, white with a red center. The kennel master Ostagar was asking about those. It probably is. You want to be careful picking flowers around the wilds, mind you. They're as like to spit poison in your face as not. The kennel master said this flower can help dogs that get sick from biting darkspawn. At any rate, he was offering a reward if someone went into the wilds and brought him one. Might want to think about it, is all. Greetings. It is good to finally have a moment to speak with you. Indeed. Yes? Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? Well, well. What have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? You are the intruder here. I believe the first question is rightfully mine. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wilds, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there. 
Women do not frighten like little boys. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? A thieving, weird talking log, perhaps? Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. It is not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you all so mistrustful? She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'll be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your woman's mind give you a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as these boys do? Oh, if you must protest so quickly, perhaps I need not ask. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So this is a dreaded Witch of the Wilds. Witch of the Wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> They did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Such manners. Always in the last place you look. Like stockings. Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Greetings. Are you one of the Grey Wardens that went into the wilds? Did you happen to see any white flowers? 
I don't know for sure that the flower will aid my poor hounds, but it's worth trying. I have, uh, let's see, 20 silver to offer as a reward for it. Thank you for your assistance, then. Perhaps we won't lose as many hounds as I'd feared. So, you return from the wilds. Have you been successful? Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. As could any darkspawn you might face in battle. You would not have been chosen, however, if I did not think you had a chance to survive. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. Don't we? The Grey Wardens have saved the world from Darkspawn before. I'd say they know better than anyone what it takes. You saw those darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would, Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward.
I am sorry, Aveth. Step forward, Jory. But I have a wife, a child. Had there I known. There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was... horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able.
Loghain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your fool notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a fool notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the lady from High Ever I met earlier? I understand congratulations are in order. I suppose none of us do, but every Grey Warden is needed. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Archdemon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle will of not Major... trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Caelan. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Yes, so am I. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all.
The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves.
Fight for Pharrell. I shall do it. As you say. We need to get to the beacon. The king needs low gain no, charge. We need to get to the beacon. We need to get to the beacon. The king needs low gain to charge.
Make his breath. What are these Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the Horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Good point. I need to stay focused. Kill first, ask questions later. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Taren Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Game better be ready to charge as soon as we like the signal. The king is depending on us. needs low gain to charge. Yes. Yes. Perhaps we should take the time to review what we've learned? Impossible. Yes. There, more of the fiends ahead! Thank you. 
Yes. You would like something? I shall do it. Oh, it I shall do it. Ah, 
Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Back in the wilds, of course. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and I have just bandaged your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though t'was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. The suspicious dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. I... you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I will stay and make something to eat. You must speak to Mother, then be gone. You have an army of Darkspawn to avoid, and would be best to get an early start. I will stay and make something to eat. No, I cannot. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... You're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? If you know what is good for you, I suppose you should. Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. Then we have to do something. I won't let their deaths be in vain. But I can't do anything on my own. By ourselves? No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half-dozen nations at his back. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon, or how to raise an army. 
It seems to me those are two different questions, hmm? Have the Wardens no allies these days? I... I, I, I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Orlais had been called, and Al Eamon would never stand for this, surely. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. You have more at your disposal than merely old friends. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve, or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wild and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but... Won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail. And all will perish under the blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Ha <laughs> ha, you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? If you worry that I will summon demons and transform into an abomination, I assure you I will at least wait until you are not looking. I feel better already. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear.
and I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Bannon will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty. Your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> a simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you, see? Do shut up. Even a Genlock would have understood that. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. Danger approaching. <laughs> All right. We surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by. Before the Darkspawn get us all. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. I'm not going down without a fight! As you say, What do you wish of me? Yes. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? 
Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. This should be good. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. This should be good. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. I can give you directions, if you like. He'll be at Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. Then you have a plan. Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. We will... As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? Good. No room here for any more outsiders. Don't let me stop you. You there. If you... Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. I'm just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. The ban has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approach. Back off! I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune! I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts! You wouldn't dare! Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people! He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. It is only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. 
You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. You want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. We have nothing to offer but our gratitude. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Fine. May your heartlessness bring you exactly what you deserve. A fine sentiment, if I've ever heard one. You're so nice. I bet you make allies everywhere you go. Ha! <laughs> Serves that wench right. You have my thanks. And 100 silvers, yes? Right, fair enough. But only you. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps? Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Ah, oh, he doesn't have any poison yet, thank the Maker. So his fields are just full of traps. He can be a bit eccentric. None to be had. Balin has all the traps in the village in his fields. I, I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Ever since Good King Kalen passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here, and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft or worse. <laughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry is seeing to matters of defense and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. How dare you accuse me of favoring? I saw you take the support. You want one of my captors? I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. You mock me, or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. No doubt. What help do you seek? The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden, then? Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. Eaten alive by Darkspawn. That's cruel. I wonder why the revered mother is so afraid of him.
is begun. Very well. I shall do it. As I say, I shall do it. It is begun. Very well. I shall do it. I shall do it. I shall do it. Very well. I shall do it. I shall do it. As I say, it is begun. Let us be on our way. We have much to do. Yes.
Terran Logain is the new region. Isn't that the thing? I heard that he may have had something to do with the king's death. Oh, dark. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. on our way. We have much to do and little enough time to do it. The path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the Maker smiles upon its travelers. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks.
guess. Is he still alive? The revered mother put him there a few weeks back. He'll be dead soon enough. Not since Tern Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Make her watch over you. We are the only hope of protection this Who? village has now. I will not abandon I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? W what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. If Arl Eamon were well, I have little doubt he would assist you. My quest, however, remains the same. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact, but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. spoke, chant of light scattered in the dark. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. I am the revered mother of this Chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Might I suggest 30 silver? Thank you, dear woman. What can I do for you then? A Grey Warden? 
Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. You have not heard. The Tern claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? He butchered an entire farmhold. Only one of the youngest hid long enough to survive. The child said his father had found the Canari gravely wounded and took him in. That kindness was repaid with murder. The bandsmen found the Canari just standing amidst the carnage. He did not resist them. He confessed quite readily, but would give no reason for the crime. Even the seasoned knights who apprehended him were disturbed by the carnage. However docile he appears, do not be fooled. That canary is a danger. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. To defend against the blight, Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? I... No, I cannot. There will be too much trouble for us if we are seen cooperating with you. Now we threaten priests! How fun! Whoa, whoa! Let's not get out of hand here. What is the meaning of this? You would threaten me with violence? Your reverence, please. We are on an important mission. Let us take the Cunari off your hands. I beg you. I see. And if not, I am to be assaulted. Is this what we have come to? No, your reverence. I will not allow that to happen. I have more important matters to concern me. Here, take the key to the creature's cage and be gone. Do not return. across all four corners of the world. Let it rise at last to the ears of the Maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication. Do you ever wonder if that's I'm an scared. accurate likeness of Andrasta? When are we going home? Maybe she was ugly. Maybe those bandits Maybe are back again. Team. Why don't the Templars kill them? And then shall the chance of life make it pure. Let all mankind be humble. Let all repeat the chant of life. Only the word dispels the darkness on us. When the Maker spoke, the chant of light scattered in the darkness. Word. So let's talk about your mother, Grandma. I'd rather talk about... Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Loghain's men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a woman by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen her? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Tern Loghain claims the Grey Wardens betrayed the King. Or haven't you heard? Enough talk! Take the Warden into custody. Kill this sister, and anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. More enemies ahead! As you 
We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. I was there. The turn pulled us out of a trap. Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. But they failed, and I do not wish death on anyone. You mean... Very well. May the Maker forgive your trespasses. May he keep you in his sight, and guide you. It shall be done very well. As you said, it shall be done very well. It is the done. in my kitchen. Out with you. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I've got other gear to sell. A whole mess of refugees come in and leave near every night. All have hungry bellies, sad tales, and mementos for Varda. I sold that bleeding merchant outside about half my lot of two weeks back, and now he's charging outrageous sums for all my food. You did? Well, I don't know what to say to that. Thanks? I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. that and the maker wants me to go with you. Then you believe me. <gasps> I knew the maker had sent a true dream. A vision that by serving you I serve his holy plan. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Indeed. I've got a cousin in the Templars. He said the mates in the tower. Too much to do, and not enough time. 
don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. You wish something more of me? My preference is death and battle. Failing that, I will wait for the darkspawn. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. Somehow that seems unlikely. It matters little, however. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. I have spent my life in the Vanguard. I know war. And your lands need all the help they can get. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. May we proceed? I am eager to be elsewhere. Someone help us! <laughs> As you wish. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wolves. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offence, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, though. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? I will help you however I can. dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a light. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Ah! 
Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no. I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. You little... Me? Harassing your dog? I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offence at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Yes? Well, here I am. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rosebush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. In my dream I fell, or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? That is why you are a Grey Warden. Come, there's a blight to stop. What do you wish of me? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. If I wanted to leave, then I would go. I remain, so do not ask such pointless questions. What do you wish of me? If you must. Why do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, do I? Any number of cats could inform you of the answer to that question, but have it your way. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? For many years it was simply Flemeth and I. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Brief forays into a civilized wilderness. For the most part, Flemeth taught me well. For all that I had been taught, however, the truth of the civilized lands proved to be overwhelming. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. <laughs> Equal parts daring and foolhardy, perhaps. Only once was I accused of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be traveling with a merchant caravan. He pointed and gasped, 
and began shouting in his strange language, and most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. I acted the terrified girl, and naturally, he was arrested. Men are always willing to believe two things about a woman. One, that she is weak, and two, that she finds him attractive. I played the weakling and battered my eyelashes at the captain of the guard. <laughs> Child's play. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like, it is not I. Not that I did not have trouble. There are things about human society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? begin with, yes. What is the point of touching my hand? I find it an offensive intrusion. There were many nuances that Flemeth could never tell me of. When to look into another's eyes. How to eat at a table. How to bargain without offending. None of these things I knew. I still do not understand it all, truth be told, but then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had no intention of leaving again. Yes? Let's ignore the entire Darkspawn threat and the presence of a simpleton as your only other Grey Warden ally, then. Not that I lack appreciation for the intent of your comment. Thank you. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? Yes. Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. As you wish. <laughs> 